Yeah. It's McVay. It's your restaurant. What do you want? I want a drink. And we probably should talk about Joe Scully Jr. We should do that now. Like a full recovery. I'm, I'm happy for you, Sam. Well, look, tell her to go easy, but as soon as there's a decision on the restraining order, I'm, I want to know. Oh, I miss my little boy. And Sam, I'm going to find out who did this to your, to your mom. Hey, look, I'm going to have to call you back. Um, I'm about to go into a meeting. Was that Jason's wife you were talking to? What do you say we avoid that subject for the time being? Well, you can avoid it with me, but sooner or later, you're going to have to face Jason. See, you made yourself at home. That's nice. Well, it seemed like the best place to keep our association private. I think it's a little too early for that. It's five o'clock somewhere. And I think you're going to need it. All right. What do you have to tell me about Joe Jr.? He's out of jail. Was he released or were the charges dropped? Case dismissed. I, I tried to warn you, Lieutenant. This guy has worked the system his whole life. I thought maybe since his father was dead, Joe Jr. would finally have to pay. But I guess that's not what's happening, right? It's a good case. Anywhere else in the universe, it's enough to get Scully to trial. Someone called in a favor? What happened? We can thank Scully's associate for that. Associate? What are you talking about? The associate Joe Jr. ever had that I know of was his father, and he's dead. Guess he found a new benefactor. Do you have a name? By the time I got to the AC jail, Scully had been released and all the paperwork had been sealed. It was Joe Jr.'s lawyer. He was in the courthouse in a closed hearing with the DA and a third-party attorney. Third-party attorney works for the largest law firm in New York City. That's all I've been able to find out so far. That's where the charges were dropped. Mm -hmm. Had to have been the third-party attorney that arranged the deal. So I went and checked the log at the AC jail. All the visitors Scully's has has been inside. And? and? That's where it gets strange. What was so strange about Joe Jr.'s visitors? There weren't any. According to the log, he hasn't had a single visitor. His entire page is blank. For that day? The entire time he's been locked up. Well, that don't make any sense, because I was there, Kate was there. So was I. There's no record of it. Somebody erased the log. What for? What, is, what does that get him? Whoever Scully's associate is, he doesn't want his name getting out. If I had to have the whole AC jail in his pocket house, would he have gotten the um, visitor's log erased? You know how it is, sonny. Sometimes you only need one guy. Some guy going through a bad divorce or gambling debts, and you're in. Well, you know, in order to grease the wheel, you got to have some money, and he was broke. Maybe that's where the associate comes in. Well, who is he? Because his father's dead, and, and everybody in his crew hated him. Maybe Joe made a friend while he was in New Orleans. So much for justice, huh? He didn't set Scully free. Justice is a righteous endeavor. Someone corrupted the system for a moment in time, and that's who needs to pay. I hope you remember what you told me, McBain, that if Joe Jr. got off, He's mine. Yeah, I did say that, didn't I? You know, sometimes people, they just, somehow they disappear. And we're all just better off. Whatever happens to him, we gotta find him first. Nice bear. What happened with Joe Jr.? Church is dropped, he's out. I'm sure Sonny will have you going after him in no time. Any leads on who injected Alexis and Jocelyn? Does it lead back to Windmere? <laughs>